Well, do you know someone who has trouble hearing? Most of us do, and sometimes it may be even ourselves. Joining us on the Balancing Act this morning is Andrew Boydman, Executive Director of the Deafness Research Foundation, a private funder of hearing research with a mission to advocate healthy hearing. Andrea, good morning to you. Good to see you. Thanks, Danielle. It's great to be here today. I think many of us may take our hearing for granted, what should we be aware of when it comes to hearing? Well, I think one of the most interesting things is to realize how prevalent hearing loss is. There's 36 million Americans, that adults, that have a hearing loss. Wow. Um, and interestingly, two to three out of every thousand babies that are born are deaf or, or have a hearing loss. And Ninety percent of those babies are born to parents who have typical hearing. So for those babies, now that newborn hearing screening legislature is more common, I think almost 97 percent of babies get their hearing tested at birth with early detection and early intervention, kids with a hearing loss can have language development that's on par with their typical hearing peers. You know, what I find interesting is that, you know, for a lot of people, they may not even know or want to accept the fact that they have a hearing loss. How does a hearing loss then affect someone's life beyond just not being able to hear? That's a great question, and I think one of the most common things that, um, that people with a hearing loss can experience is depression and isolation. A scenario comes to mind of a family dinner and and somebody who has a hearing loss may be withdrawn and isolated, not fully able to participate in a conversation. And nobody knows why, and then it turns out that there is some hearing loss there. Exactly. So what are the signs that we should look for that indicate that we have a loved one sure. who has hearing loss? Well, I think one of the easiest symptoms is if you if you realize that you're having trouble understanding other people, if you think that everybody's mumbling, um, if your loved one tells you that you're constantly turning the television a little bit louder than they think is comfortable, or if you realize you're having trouble understanding telephone conversations or discerning sounds in a noisy environment, those are signs that you really should have your hearing by a hearing health care professional. All right, so one of the things we have done is we've actually kind of recreated an example of what hearing loss could sound like. Could you explain what we're hearing? Sure, so what we're hearing now is what 25 million Americans experience. It's called tinnitus. This can be a whooshing or a high-pitched noise, sometimes beeps, and for many people, it's constant. Tinnitus and hearing loss are actually the number one war wounds for our servicemen and women coming back from war. Um, it's a huge problem, and tinnitus is often a symptom. It's usually actually a symptom of a hearing loss, and unfortunately, there's no cure for it. Oh, my goodness. I know one of the other things that, that you're concerned about is loud sound. Whether you live in a big city or the suburbs, or, you know, whether you live out in the country, you've got your MP3 player on, you've got the traffic noise. That's a big concern. Absolutely. So Deafness Research Foundation is very committed to helping to prevent noise-induced hearing loss, which is 100% preventable. We've learned that one in five teenagers now actually has a hearing loss. And we think this may be because a lot of teenagers are listening to those MP3 devices. At a maximum volume, an MP3 device registers at 105 decibels, which will almost certainly cause a hearing loss. Loss. And normal uh, is a normal. Well, uh, under 85 is a safe. Is Ugh. a safe. Um, we're probably talking at about 60 decibels right now. A hair dryer is at about 90 decibels. Not the hair dryer. Not the hair dryer. And, and some people actually will use earplugs when they when they blow dry Little their hair. Little pink earplugs yes. for us women. Yes, and, uh, that's wonderful. I, I also understand another thing that's wonderful is that, that you all have really taken great strides. There are a lot. There's a lot of research um, in terms of the future where hearing loss is concerned. Can you explain this? Sure. So. Um, um, we discovered back in the 80s that chickens can regenerate the cells in the ear that help them hear. Humans have those very same cells. They're called hair cells, not like not like this mm -hmm. hair. And there are labs in this country that are finding ways that you can actually regenerate those hair cells because once they're damaged, that's what causes a lot of types of hearing loss, like noise-induced hearing loss and age-related hearing loss. Currently, there's no way to cure hearing loss, but by regenerating those hair cells, which we hope to be able to do in the future, we would actually be able to offer cure for certain types of hearing loss. Wouldn't that be nice? Be amazing. What would be your final word of advice to women in our audience today? Sure. So we actually have a slogan that we've coined, um, walk, block, and turn. That sounds like stop, drop, and roll. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, so when you're exposed to a loud noise, the best thing to do is to walk away from it. Um, another thing you could do is to block the noise either with your earplugs or with your hands. Um, and then finally, if you have the ability to turn down the noise, and especially for a stereo or music, if you can turn it down a little bit, that could make a big difference. Another resource I'd love to offer is our magazine, Hearing Health. Um, Hearing Health is a great publication. It offers information
information on the current research in hearing loss, different treatments, products that can help with the hearing loss, and it's a great resource. You can actually read it, uh, a digital version on our website, drf.org. Well, you are a great resource. You've shared such wonderful Thank information you. with us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And if you want to learn more about hearing health, simply go to the website drf.org where you'll also find out more about the Deafness Research Foundation and their educational programs.